Tom here coming at you from Noisegate's super secret testing facility. Today I'm going to put this Eon 712 through a series of stress tests to see if it can handle life on the road. Now JBL does do their own stress test with these speakers. They have a 100 hour stress test where they put the woofer through some serious sound output and they have a shake machine which simulates traveling in a truck and transport and all that. We thought we would put it through some real world situations to add some real world context to see what this speaker can go through. And at the end of the video, we're gonna drop it from a very high height with the express point of destroying it because science isn't just about doing things like formulas and writing on clipboards, it's also about having fun. Okay, so it's time to put on your safety goggles, make sure your children are at a safe distance and let's do it. So we're at the gig and we're bumping in. What was that? Well, let's have a look. Couple scuffs, seems all right. Let's see if it powers on. We have power. Let's see if it passes signal. Check one, two, check one, two. We have signal, it has survived the boot test. Alrighty, it survived the fallout of the boot. We've got it into the venue and we've put it up on a tripod and now some drunk idiot is gonna push it over. So, front looks okay. Got a couple scuffs to be expected. Let's plug it in. We have power. Check one, two, check one, two. It is still passing audio and has survived the tripod test. So it survived the boot test, it survived the tripod test, and now it's time for our penultimate test, the spill test. I will now simulate a drunken idiot spilling their beer on this speaker. Just give me a sec to get into character. Ah, this music is sick. Oh. And scene. Let's see if it works. Pretty drenched in liquid. It's made a fair mess of this. Okay, let's do power first. We have power. Now, let's test audio. Check one, two, check one, two. It is passing signal. It has survived the spill test. Hooray! So it survived the boot test, the tripod test, and the spill test, and now it's time for our ultimate test, a drop from height. Everybody, please stand back. Let's see what happens. All right, Ricky, bring me down. Looks, uh, oh, it's still intact. Jeez. All right. Let's have a look. Well, it's 
sort of still in one piece. We've got a bit of damage to the underside to be expected because, you know, I dropped it on that. Let's have a look if it can still work. Lights. <laughs> okay. Phase one, good. Still, <laughs> still working. Uh, let's see if it passes audio. Check one, two, check one, two. Wow, it has survived the drop test. Looks like JBL build these things like brick shit houses. Look. The point of this video was to destroy the Eon 712. That's why we finished with such a big drop. As you can see, it did cop some cosmetic damage on the bottom, but I can tell you now a week later that it still works. I even ran some music through the Bluetooth channel and that was all still good. So we've contacted Elon Musk. We're gonna put it on the next SpaceX launch and when it gets to space, we're gonna drop it out and hopefully that will actually kill it. If you did enjoy this content, please like and subscribe and I'll catch you next time. Oh, and of course, a big thank you to JBL.